change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So, firstly before we start, I want to say thank you to everyone who's liking and subscribing on my channel. My video about the card reference Easter is kind of blew up, so appreciate that, you the bros. So, this is a video that I've been working on for like, two weeks now, three weeks maybe. So, I've been doing it in my spare time. I am doing the next theme that could possibly come out, and probably will come out, and my opinions and thoughts on what they could be. So, firstly, these are fan-made cards, these are all made by me. There's, um, these aren't true. Some of them could be close, but... Because they're adding a new theme, I think they're going to add new effects, like how Fantasy has poison, Fantasy has debuffs, like ma lowering their health and minus in the attack for a couple seconds. So whatever they could do, they could do something completely different and will change pretty much all of these cards, because these are my opinions of what they could do. So so once again, these, these are not real, so you know don't get your hopes up. I just thought that, because I can do some graphics, I might as well just do it for the video, since it's more appealing to look at. Okay, so firstly we have the Kuhn. So, obviously the tank, so I'm saying that he's going to cost 5 because of his, his um, charge attack, so what I'm saying he'll do is he'll attack nearby enemies, like in the, his ultimate in his special attack on Fractured Butthole, he will do like a slash attack and just damage all nearby enemies and also slow them. Now this might be a bit OP for an epic card, like how Grand Wizard Cartman has two special, like two abilities where he freezes and does damage, so it, it might not be true, but that's why he's cost 5. His damage will be like when he uses ultimate will be less than his um, ground waves Cartman and the slow they can still hit so I think that this will be actually pretty good because then people that have ground waves Cartman can use this card as like a um, a lower version of him but obviously he is an epic so you can level him up quicker than a legendary so his abilities will get stronger than ground waves Cartman if you obviously level him up past level one. So how I did the health and attack I looked at all the. Cartman's health and attacks and kind of like worked in between and what they could be now because these are five costs and an epic I think you'll have around 700 health because just the scale is kind of different and around 22 health Also, I do think the the card card will be black just because of like the mystery and like identity of the people So also I have the Mysterian logo in the bottom left now This could be easily replaced by a random one, but or even Cartman's like a Sakun but I just think it's more suitable to have Mysterion so he also has 22 attack, which is just kind of suitable for a Cartman since they normally have always low attacks. Alright, that's Cartman done. So next we have Human Kite. Okay, so I think Human Kite will definitely be a rare and will cost 4. So Kyle has always been a like ranged attack, so no again, no difference this time. But the only difference again will be, and I can't really compare it because he ain't out yet. So there's a card in the game that right now, which is Boba Fett or Bounty Hunter. Kyle, so he's also a flying target, so I think Human Kite will be able to fly, so he'll be an aerial attack, which is why I don't do a lot of damage, but I'm kind of comparing his, his charge ability off the actual abilities from Fractured Butthole, so I think he'll do, so let me explain his ability, so I think he will heal a nearby ally, so just only one ally, and then make them invincible for three attacks, so that means that you got to hit the person three, like three times before the Mr. B goes away, so I think this would actually be pretty cool. But also might be a bit OP, because free attacks might be a bit much. But it, it kind of stops any fireballs or any spells that could like damage him. So I'm not sure I said this already, but these are all like the level 1 version of cards, just because it's easier to scale them. Like, if I was to do like a level 6, it, they all look OP, so level 1 is just a basic level for them. So Kyle will have low health and HP, just because he's a ranged and flying unit so normally flying units will have low HP and low attack just because they're like there's not many targets in the game that can actually kill them easy compared to like normal ground attack fires next card is Iron Maiden so this is Timmy now Timmy actually has two superheroes so he has Dr. Timothy and which is from the Bat Fractured Butthole and also Iron Maiden from the South Park series so the reason why I picked Iron Maiden, and I think a lot of people can agree with this, is that Dr. Timothy's power is that he can read mind and control people. So pretty much that's Mecha Timmy. So having Mecha Timmy and Dr. Timothy in the same like like different teams if we're kinda of stupid. Um so Iron Maiden's another option. So this is kinda of easy for me. So every Timmy is a other than the Mecha Timmy is a range rare card. And you always have the same attack and 
health at level one. So if you look across uh, Cabal Timmy and Pirate Ship Timmy, they always have 96 health and 36 attack. So this is like gar guarantee you that his cost, health, and attack will pr probably almost like guarantee to be this. So uh, for his charge, it's actually kind of diff difficult. So once again, I said that they can add different abilities into the game. So I think this will be one of them. So what he will do is he'll spawn barbed wire in front of him, which will actually be pretty pretty good and make it people use him rather than Cabal Timmy or Mecha Timmy. So what he will do is he'll spawn barbed wire in front of you. So whenever he gets to the line and people spawn their cards in, like um, any assassin, they will take a while just to get to him because of the barbed wire, which will be a pretty much interesting part. Um, or other than destroying it, he can spawn a barrier, so they will have to destroy that before they get to him. So that's pretty that's Iron Maiden, pretty straight, straightforward. Okay, so next we actually have Mysterion. So without a doubt, Mysterion will definitely be a legendary. Just because he, he actually has an actual superpower, which is he can come back to life. So there's actually certain ways to do it, and I think he'll cost four. So pretty much you have, yeah, Mysterion, I'll say two costs, but he comes back to life. So there's a couple ways they could do this, is um, by after a couple of seconds, he'll spawn right where he died so I think this might be a bit OP because if he, if he dies on the tower he'll just spawn back in and do a lot of damage to the tower so the way I thought it could work will be whenever you spawn him in that location is where you get spawned in again so after he dies maybe like a second or two like how Princess Kenny's little tears go across the map I think he'll just get like a ghost will appear and he'll slowly walk towards the spot where you're spawned in and then that's where he will spawn in again but I think you'll have like the resurrection effect how um, Pope Timmy does it, so he'll be like purple. So because he's actually legendary, his attack and health will be kind of high for level 1, just because most Kennys you can upgrade quite a bit, so they can get their attack up to quite a lot. Like Princess Kenny for level 1 has like 60 health and 60 H like attack, and then you can level up to like 120, like level 5. So Mr. Urion, if you're lucky enough you're to get him, and never mind lucky enough to get him to level 2 or 3. So there can be like a lot, a lot of benefits and quite he might be like one of the best cards in the game. Just because you can spawn him in for an aggressive attack. Just him I get to start and then they will send their cards and defend. And then because he will spawn back later on. They have to deal with him again and you can spawn your cards in. So he, he can be pretty good. And to be fair most Kennys in this game are quite OP anyway. Like Princess Kenny has a lot of health. His her death wish is pretty sick. Like all the Kenny's death wishes are pretty like game changing and like will win you the match. So I don't think this is far off. And it, especially if they don't add it in the game without like having double lives, it will be kind of stupid and it just wouldn't like fit with the character. All right. So next we have fast past. Now I think there's no doubt that that fast pass will boost the speed of your um, f friendlies. So uh, it could be. Like with the war cry from uh, War Warboy Tweak, where he spawns him in, and he makes everyone fast for a couple of seconds. I don't think that will work for Jimmy, just because of every Jimmy card, he always has an aura, which always changes fights. So I'm not sure this might be a bit OP, which is why he's an epic and he costs four. So what I'm saying he would do is that he will spawn an aura around him and boost everyone's speed by 25%. Now, I don't think it could be anything higher, because maybe like past that will be pretty OP, like. And like do kind of unstoppable um might be even a bit lower but but regardless i do think that jimmy will have an aura which will boost some something in the game probably speed since he's supposed to be the flash so i've also said that since he is an epic i've pretty much gotten his stats from storage ever today so i kind of like changed it a bit but i think his stats will be around this so around 200 health and like 30 attack from level one so next on this we have Mosquito who is actually Clyde. So every Clyde ability, there's two Clydes that, that are in the game. So there's one that throws something and some that actually run towards the enemy. So, so like I said at the start, they could completely change this and add a new ability. So this won't be this won't be the actual ability, but as far as goes, I think that he will just spawn Mosquitoes in, which will go towards the enemy and pretty much poison them. Similar to Alien Clyde, but just a bit different. I can't really think of anything else for Mosquito since like in the game, he he all he does is gross the people out. So I guess that could be like a gross out option could be added into the game. But for his stats, it goes um, he will cost three, so it's similar to most Clydes. So he's level one. He will have weak stats and pretty much so he has low health and low HP. So once again, you will be able to level him up. I think he'll be a common though, because because 
He's similar to Alien Clyde, so pretty much like an option just for the um, superhero theme. Now, this is a tricky one for me. So, okay, so the reason why I'm calling him Chaos is because Professor Chaos will be another card, which might be a legendary. I actually never made one of it, but I think that Professor Chaos will be the big version of him. He will, he might not be in the superhero theme, but possibly will just be like an, um, uh, similar to Man Bear Pig, where Chaos will spawn in. So for this, just for this card, I think that Chaos will be uh, an epic. So his stats will be quite high or quite high-ish just for like a level one epic. So his stats are pretty straightforward, but his ability is quite hard to pick from. So the whole point of Professor Chaos is that he uses minions. So I was thinking that you could use a charge ability where he will spawn some minions in, but for an assassin, it will be quite weird. So, and for butters too. Butters always has a death wish, so what I'm saying in this case is that whoever kills Chaos will turn into a Chaos minion. Now, this could be pretty cool because there are a bunch of minions in the game, well, like, available, so they could, like, just make it random, so they could, like, hide other easter eggs in the game. But this will be pretty useful just because you won't be able to purify it, so once they turn, like, that's them turning, you can't purify it, so... That will make him somewhat useful because he kind of has to be related to some chaos minions. Okay, so next we have is Captain Diabetes or Scott Malkerson. That's his name. Now, Scott Malkerson is going to be in the game. Like, there's some leak cards of him online. So, we're not actually sure what his abilities are. So, this is kind of like just a um, random ability. But for Captain Diabetes, his um, whole point is he eats like sugar and gets strong. So, I'm saying he's going to be a rare. Cost three, maybe even four, but his charge attack will be he heals and gains a large attack boost. So pretty much Canadian Ike and Pyre Ike together, just for the superhero theme. His health will be one forty three and his attack will be forty one. Just because I think it's like kind of a standard for fire rare. Now this could be completely wrong, but I think his. The whole point of Captain Diabetes is that he takes sugar and gets like kind of strong. So I think if they were to change his ability, it will be something to do with like buffing himself. Okay, so next we have is Cold Girl Wendy. Now this could be another common, but I just had to go for a rare. So Cold Girl or Wendy always does. So Wendy always has a charge ability, and it, no matter what the scenario is, it's always free. So by that I mean. Shield Maiden Wendy has invincibility for 3 seconds. Um, Angel Wendy heals 3 people. Ice Sniper Wendy freezes 3 people. So so what I think she'll do is, is that she'll throw her phone. Because she has a bunch of them. So either, either that or she can be similar to like the new kids. How they just stand still and like, electrocute them. But this is kind of hard. So I just I just said her charge ability will just stun 3 of the closest enemies. Since like she has like the phone. But I think it'll be a cool animation. So what I think they'll do is that their phone in their pockets will just like break. So they'll get stunned. Or electrocuted and do some damage. So it will either be one of them. Okay, so next we have is Tool Shed. So this is Stan. And I think the unique thing about this one is that it will add a new ability into the game. And also it will be a ranger card. So because it's a range, I think it'll be another rare. He'll cost three and have 192 health and 21 attack just because level one. So what I'm saying that you could do, since it's um, tool shed, he's working with a lot of abilities. So if you notice that a lot of the characters in this are ranged, so I think his ability will be really useful for them. So like all stands, it will be like a whole map thing, not like your radius. So what I'm saying they will do is it will be a couple of seconds. He will ground all enemies, so they will stand right exactly where they are. So you can they can still hit. So it won't really work against ranged targets unless they get close enough. But what I'm saying is that they will ground every enemy so he can't move for a couple of seconds so all the ranged cards can pretty much just keep on hitting them this isn't really too far fetched since pretty much every stand ability is pretty, quite useful so this could be a possibility um, the only difference is that he one might be another common or that he'll be a attacker so he won't he'll be a fighter so he won't be a ranged unit okay so we have three more cards and the next one is tumbleware so Regard disregard the picture because I couldn't find another picture of uh, Tumbleware. So I do think he'll be his normal form, but his charge ability will find missiles to the closest enemy. So I think that his charge attack will just quickly switch him into 
the actual Omega tool shed, whatever you want to call it, and just do three missiles. So, because of this ability, I think it'll be a, um, an epic, so similar to Rogue Token. So I've taken his stats from all the tokens, because tokens are normally quite beefy, but they don't do a lot of damage, unless you level them up. So I think Tumbleware has to have an ability where he does like an AoE effect, or once again, they could add new effects, so he could do that. But for me, I'm just saying that he'll transform into the Omega Tool Shed and just quickly fires three missiles and change back to his normal self. Okay, so this is kind of far-fetched, but I think this kind of has to be in the game. So, this is Legendary, and it's Super Craig and Wonders Week. So, they're a team, and you may notice the stats is pretty high, but it's pretty much half in. So, each of them will have 200 health and do 75 damage. So, it will be two units. So, similar to rats, how do you have two individual healths? But in the Fractious Butthole game, they fuse together and do massive AoE damage. So, all the Craigs and Tweaks actually do a ball cries, so they could pretty much fit well together, and this could be possible. Um, it would suit them, I think. Um, they could separate them and make them two individual cards, which could work. Um, but if they were to do that, I think what Super Craig will spawn um, like some uh, guinea pigs, and and Wonder Tweak will just like do uh, some lightning effect when he spawns in. But I think this could be a cool card. It will cost 5, so it's pretty much 2.5 for each of them. And, they, you know, they are both strong. And to clear any incoming enemies like rats or pretty much like most like weak assassins. Okay, so this is going to be a really long video. But the last card, which once again is a legendary. And I think without a doubt he will be in the game. If not, they're missing out. So, Mintberry Crunch. And so, he's the second person in the group who actually has superpowers. So his abilities were actually quite unknown, but I think I read a line that he can actually fly and shoot mint berries. So his war cry I think will turn an enemy into a mint berry, so just pretty much insta kill him. If they really wanted to, they could turn him into a member berry, you know, that's always an option. But he's a actually might be a pretty good card because he's a flying unit and a legendary, so it'll be a pretty good health and uh, attack. So what I'm saying he will do is he will fly in the sky and shoot mint berries down. Because that's pretty much his powers. So it's pretty much for now he's straightforward. He'll cost around 4 or maybe even... I don't think it'll cost 5. He'll cost 3 or 4. And we'll have around this health. Pretty much from being a flying unit. Now that's all the cards for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again I can't stress it enough. These aren't real. And the, the card the card arts will, will not be this. So if you don't know. They always like redesign a whole card art individually for an actual character. So you won't see any of these card arts. But it's just more fitting for the video it did take me quite a while to make these cards so that's why i didn't have it up sooner once again these are all my opinions on the cards so you know you get you have your own opinions you might think they might do something different and like i tried making this bit different because i don't think anyone has ever said that they should make super craig and wonder tweak an actual duo card it might change the game a bit so i'm going to end this video right here because we're getting around 20 minutes long so thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy the video please like and subscribe, peace.